Oh my god, team. I'm here! It's working! Greetings! I hope you have not been waiting long, dear friends. <laughs> but yeah, they summoned me to the stockades, the summoning stone, which is really handy. Greetings, friend. Alright. Okay, let's let's get rolling here then. Let's get rolling. This is our team, we've got Cromlech, we've got Tyrolstrom, we've got uh, Durnas. And is it Durns or Durnus? I'm gonna say Durns. We got Durns and Skamas. Okay, so can we can we fly it? I presume we can fly over to Westfall. But we'll see. I'm not sure if I have the flight path because I'm a Draenei. If not, then we're gonna run. But if we do, if it's gonna be okay. It's down. It's down here. The Dead Mines is down here. I think, I I don't know, we'll find out if I have any of these flight paths quite soon. <laughs> Tyrostrom gets sick when flying. I do love my wee doggy. I'll track brew pup. <laughs> of any water, love. Oh man, this dwarf. Unbelievable. Even his dog's an alcoholic. Uh... Okay, I can fly to go I can fly to Goldshire. Fantastic! Alright. I'll see you guys at Goldshire, I suppose. Azunti tuned in for dead mines. This is a treat, yeah. Well we gotta we gotta run there. Well, I've got to run there. Oh, they some of our team are guildmates? Is that guildmates? No. Who are these guys? Oh, they are guildmates, yeah! No, but all in Garethos. These guys just completed the dead mines. That's awesome. The guild is growing. Fantastic. All right. Well, welcome to Goldshire at nighttime. This is like the first little village of the humans. It's pretty damn cool. There's someone called Slutty Lady says, shall we go to Lakeshire? Oh, dear. <laughs> Be careful about uh, uh, taking them up on that offer. Slutty Lady. I don't know if that's necessarily the safest one. Skamaz looks like he's actually gone... He's going on roughly the right direction, at least. But yeah, so Stormwind's up here. This is Goldshire, and this is Elwyn Forest. Which is where the humans... The humans live. Gnomes are not the best when it comes to maps. Oh, Skamaz is a gnome! Excellent! There is some copper ore over there. Hang on. Hang on. As important as it is to go to the dead mines... Getting some copper ore is more important. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Durn's getting some peace bloom. Durn's knows what's up. You're a fucking squid. Okay, so we're gonna make our way into Westfall. I suppose we'll visit this pumpkin patch and get, uh, we'll grab all these flight pats as we go. Despite having small legs, the gnome is winning the race. <laughs> Gnomes are known cheaters. <laughs> Azunti says, I remember having to run through high level uh, zones as a night elf to even get to the continent. Yes, it's easier now because you can get a boat to Stormwind. Uh, which we did on the stream earlier today. Whoa. Dern's just destroyed that poor, uh... Oh, we could go kill Hogger. Hogger's down here. That's... Nah, we'll, we'll save it. Oh, I'm tempted. Team, we go kill Hogger. Let's go kill... Wanted Hogger? Stockade, Sam. No, there's another Hogger out here, though. Even still, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just picked up the quest. There you go. Oh, you guys declined the quest? Share it. Oh, you guys have done the quest? Okay. You guys have done... Oh, Kromlech accepted it. Let's go kill Hogger on the way. This is a rite of passage. <laughs> this is a very important part of playing World of Warcraft. 
You have to come and kill Hager. Yeah, well, we're, we have we don't have to travel as far to get to um, the dead mines this time, but we do have to um, we will have to travel over to the Wailing Caverns, which could be a little bit tricky. We'll find out. Hey, look, there's Nick. There's Niku. He's gonna go in and he's gonna ninja pull Hogger before we can get there. Look at this. Look at this. This is classic World of Warcraft. Classic, wow. There he is, Hogger. Okay. We did it. We did it. We dealt with Hogger just like that. There's also a quest over here. Full browse deed. This is an old deed to an expansive farmlands within Westfall. Ooh. Okay. Do we want to do this? Well, sure. Let's take this deed. Someone wants the deed. Oh. This beast leads the Riverfall Null Gang. It may be the key to ending Null Aggression in Elwyn. We're taking him into custody in the name of King Varian Wren. He's going to be stored in the stockades. I'm sure nothing wrong will happen with that. When this happened yesterday, it literally would not reconnect. And then OBS Studio was like frozen in reconnect mode. It wouldn't, it wouldn't disconnect. Oh my God, someone is. Hey, hey you. Hello. Why are you naked on a dragon? Are you a homophobe? Oh dear. Oh dear. This is bad. Oh hey Zap Badger, how are you? Hello, I'm right here. Oh, this is this you, Moofire, is that you? No. No, okay, that's someone else. I want to fight homosexual oh my god. Oh my god, this guy. This is definitely not let's just ignore this guy. That's definitely not real roleplay. <laughs> What is this? Oh my god. We're being chased. We're being chased by a naked man. Run! Ultrite role playing, pretty much, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, watch your footing, rookie. Oh, I've actually brought you a deed. You don't need any civilian vigilante types getting involved, kid. Leave this one to the professionals. Oh, wow. This is useless. Look at the date in this letter. Oh, they've been squatting. Okay. Got a full-blown... Oh, I don't want to get involved in this stuff. Murdered? Oh my god. No, no, no. We're not gonna... We're not gonna worry about anything like that. <laughs> Cromlex is back off. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Westfall. This is kind of like a, a bit of like the outback here. Um, Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, we're just gonna be chased by a, a naked man on a dragon, apparently. There's Roberto. Hello, Roberto. It is nice to see you. He happens to be in Westfall as well. The Order Reforged is all here. Okay, so we're gonna head down to Sentinel Hill. Which is like the main alliance, the human stronghold here. You guys are near the, the stone? Okay, cool. We'll see you over there. But yeah, Westfall is kind of, it's a bit run down. You know, it's, it's a bit kind of... It's a bit like the Wild West, I think. I'm just gonna mute Zap. I'm gonna mute Zap Badger. I have no idea what she's saying. We're also being chased by a bunch of things. It sounds like her mic is on always operation. Yeah, it sounds like something's gone wrong, so we're just mute her for now. <laughs> Unmute her later. <laughs> it's obviously not working quite right. <laughs> okay, but this is Sentinel Hill. As you can see, it's kind of still under construction. It's uh, not exactly the most inspiring fortification here. Oh, oh this guy's he's talking in Draconic now. Oh, oh, actually, you know what this is? It's not just one guy. This is someone transfigurated into a dragon, and he's got another guy on his back. That's what it is. Okay, we've got the flight path, so we can fly back here if we ever want to. But yeah, this place is pretty yeah, cool. He's following them. <laughs> right click follow because I'm lazy. I bet Roberto is going to get stuck. He's probably going to get stuck somewhere. But yeah, no, this is a, I like I like 
Westfall. It's a very cool zone. Um, I definitely I think one of the big the the things about Westfall is kind of after look at all these drifters and citizens trying to get through and they're being held off by guards wow it's like after you know you start off in elwyn forest as the humans and it's quite cozy it's quite nice and then you come to westfall and it's kind of like oh okay this is it's not so nice anymore this place is it's kind of like the wild west a bit it's a bit out there so yes we are on the eu argent dawn server He's kind of follow. I see. Oh, he. Oh, looks like he's getting bored with us now. Off he goes. He's being attacked by. We're pretty boring. He dropped off one of his friends, and now he's coming back. Amazing. Okay. Very interesting. What's he got? Why is he green? Okay, he's not green anymore. He was green for a while, though. Huh. At least the naked man off his back is gone. <laughs> At least that. I killed him! Oh my god. Alright, this place, so this town here, Moonbrook, as you can see, this is full of drifters, some homeless people. Yeah, they're pushing their carts around. This is a kind of a, a bit of a miserable place. Transients. Yeah, it's a bit of a ghetto, it's a bit of a slum. But there's more than meets the eye here. There's more than meets the eye, as we'll see. As we move into here underneath this innocuous looking barn I think we go upstairs <laughs> is it hanging <laughs> okay past these homeless stormwind citizens and down this mine shaft we find something of a mines Small time hustlers. <laughs> this is interesting as well. This has obviously changed from back in vanilla. Wow. And over here, if we make our way through the, the winding mines. Uh, we can go either way, actually. You found where dead mines is? Nice. Hidden away. Tucked back here. Around the corner. We've got some stuff over here. Hello. Uh, Professor Discoden. Uh, no, I'm not new to World of Warcraft, but we're making new characters on a new server. Over here. Down this way. We've got the dead mines. A rather nefarious place. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the dead mines. We have arrived. Okay, ladies. Cromlech. Oh, we've got crime scene Larmobots. Stormwind defenders here. I'm your boss. Trust me. Okay. You're asking a lot. <laughs> he says he's just drinking some brandy. Okay. This is interesting. All right, wow. They've got some sort of setup over here. Goblin teleporters and a bunch of crime scene investigators? Lieutenant Horatio Lane, the foreman. If we're to find out what's going on down here, it looks like we're going to have to fight our way through the entire dead mines. Globtok, the foreman, will be the first major foe you encounter. A powerful ogre magi. Be careful. He possesses the brute strength of his race, backed by his wicked spellcasting. Take this communicator so that I can keep in touch with you as we continue our investigation. Be careful down there. All right, so there's clearly some sort of investigation into Hello. nefarious goings on, perhaps even criminal goings on down here. The new boss. It's gonna be tough, ladies. Valerie, do you want to be boss? No, you can lead. You can lead the way, Cromlech. <laughs> A dwarf should feel at home in the mines. Oh wow, okay, the door's just been blasted open. <laughs> Not sure this is a good idea. Oh yeah, ogre henchmen. Okay, and we're already into combat here. Against plenty of ogres. All right, let's execute these ogres. 
first. All right, nicely done, team. Very nicely done. Bunch of leather. Oh yeah. So these guys are clearly not happy that we're here. Okay, Cromlech. Oh, someone's in a cannon. Okay, Cromlech, we need you here. <laughs> Someone has jumped into a cannon and is shelling away on the enemy. So this would be like one of the, the first biggest proper dungeons people would do in this game. Okay. Alright, nice. Oh, we've got a tin vein. I actually haven't found any tin before. This is good. The mine's no doubt going to be a good place for mining. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, we got some ogre bodyguards here. And there's Glubtok himself. Ogre Magi. Hang on, I'm going to... Uh, I've got a bunch of people in, in chat. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just disconnect from chat because it's kind of, there's loads of people in here and it's kind of interfering a bit. So there we go. I'm going to hop out of the Discord. People can listen on stream. Shouldn't be a problem. There's about like eight people in that Discord chat and there's like an another person every time I look. Yeah, we can use the streamer voice chat. So we'll drag people in here. Okay, so here we go. I'll add people into this one. So Funky's actually in here. Um, Skamaz is actually in here and Tilestrom. All right, there we go. So these are the people who are actually in our group. <laughs> That's better. There we go. Live a little. Okay. <laughs> Some ale. For courage. Alright, let's drink a mystery keg. Oh, delicious. Very nice. Piney with a leafy burst of freshness. Oh, wow. Oh, lovely. Look at this. Half the man, twice the buzz. <laughs> oh, we've engaged the fight. Okay, we're going to charge in. Start taking this guy down. Gonna attack with fists of flame. Oh, that looks like pretty serious. Yeah, these are the first bosses. They're not too bad. Oh, never mind. He's gonna do some stuff. He's gonna teleport. Okay, cool. Glub talk ready. Okay. Oh, hello. This looks pretty bad. We might want to take them out actually pretty quick. Too much power. Oh my god. Okay, that <laughs> is Club Talk taken down. The buzzer bay played. Cool. Quest complete the foreman. Bzzzt. Nicely done. A clean kill. Now continue on and see what else you can find. We'll crack this case wide open with you on our side. I just know it. Excellent. Oh, I leveled up as well and got heroic throw. Okay, cool. This will let us throw our weapon and does a bit of damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Helix Gearbreaker is the next one. Did we actually get a follow-up quest to that? I didn't see. We did or not? Mine bunnies. Oh, here for the entertainment of the goblin workers. <laughs> oh my god, Tyrostrom is just slaughtering the mining monkeys. You monster, Tyros, there's no need for that. They're poor innocent monkeys. They've been enslaved. They've been enslaved. Oh my god, he's brutal. They're throwing bananas at him. He deserves it as well. Let's be honest, he deserves it. Look at these goblin overseers. They threw poop at you. Oh, I thought I thought it was a banana. I didn't realize it was poop. <laughs> that does that does change things a little bit, to be fair. <laughs> oh, gee, okay. We've got a large batter chest here. Can't seem to open it yet, though. I'm sure if we undid these balls and chains, the monkeys would probably help us. There we go. Look, he's on our side. There we go. We got we got a mace inside there. There we go. We need to let these we need to let these monkeys free. We don't want to be killing these monkeys. Absolutely no need for that. These guys are on our side. They're enslaved. Be free, monkey. There you go. Nubkex is nice when when his friends are not. 
Atco, hey dude, welcome to the stream. Oh look, they drop cocktails. Ooh, delicious. I'll take one of those. Thank you very much. This mining monkey free. There we go. The monkeys start fighting for us. Amazing. I want to fight this heroic throw that we got. So if we run back here... Oh yeah, we can throw our sword like every few seconds. Okay. Yeah, something. Who <laughs> made me sober? Oh no. <laughs> Feel terrible. Encounter I wonder if he can even fight sober. Oh flackies. Right. Crom like he's leading them into the corner to drink. <laughs> oh he doesn't know what he's doing. With that alcohol. He doesn't know what's what. <laughs> You better have a drink, dwarf, before we fight this next one. Also, there's a mine. Ah, excellent. A silver. Oh, silver. I will definitely take that. Thank you very much. So we got a bunch of silver ore nuggets. That's very good. That's very, very good. The carpenter, defeat Helix. Hello, can you hear me? Excellent. Looks like Helix is in charge of building enormous mast. They're gonna fit it to a device juggernaut. We better investigate. Don't be afraid to get our hands dirty. Okay, well we can we can do that. Oh, this is the ma oh, okay, so they're building a mast for a ship. A criminal mastermind ship. A teleporter if if we wipe. Oh, okay. Or when we wipe. <laughs> We're not gonna wipe. We got this, guys. We got this. This is the guy. The goblin's on top of this lumbering oaf. He's throwing bombs down on the floor. Look at that. Oh, he's got someone. He grabbed one of us. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, he's on top. He's on top of someone there. Look at him. There we go. <laughs> That's amazing. He jumped on top of who was it? Tyrellstrom, I think. <laughs> Gold-plated buckler. Okay, that's pretty simple. But cool. The carpenter. Bzzzt. Hey, it's Horatio. That was intense. I'm watching your progress on the Stormwind communications. Whoa, whoa. Spiratron application. Okay. You sure use a lot of heavily fortified doors to hide their work. Keep pushing forwards to see what you find next. I bet it'll be a huge clue. Okay, we can do that. Okay, here we got some Defias diggers. Yeah. So this is where, you know, they're, they're not hiding the criminal elements anymore this deep into the dead mines. This is full on the... They're kind of like the Mafia, basically, here. They're quite like the Mafia. And they're just like out here, not even hiding it. <laughs> Pesky humans. <laughs> yeah, humans are often up to no good. Ah, we've got some sort of forge in here. The Goblin Foundry. Bzzzt. Bzzzt. Uh, hello, Vary, are you there? Are you still alive? Hello? Oh good, you're still there. What in the name of Lordaeron are they building? It's some sort of mon a mechanized monstrosity. You have to stop them from completing that thing. Throw out the rules. Do whatever you have to do to thwart them. Okay. We won't hold back. Cromlech says, hey, hey, hold on. Hold your horses. I don't run an air, you know. Have a brew if you like. Have on one myself. The pup may give you one if you ask nicely. <laughs> Our dwarf is fully refueled on alcohol, and he's ready to take the fight forwards once again. <laughs> oh yeah, I would like to actually do some Northguard soon, because they, I saw that they updated it, and it looks pretty good. Yeah. 
they added like a bear faction, which is pretty cool. Let's throw our, our sword at this guy. First, I don't think there's much damage. No, it's a pretty small amount of damage, but still. Oh, this is like Reaper 5000. Okay, right. <laughs> And every time we're hitting one, okay, as these things die, they're energizing the big dude. Okay, Foe Reaper, 5,000. Better than Foe Reaper, 4,000. Okay, here we go, we're going in. Oh, he's doing some sort of tornado. We probably don't want to stand in that. Overdrive. Definitely hurts, but we can probably take it. We're pretty tanky. As a warrior, we've got a lot of armor. So we can probably handle this. Okay, he's in execute range now. This is good news. Execute range is our favorite range. Oh, and there we go. He's taken out. Excellent. Safety restrictions offline. Bzzzt. You're hearing the heart of their domain. There will likely be an extremely fortified door protecting the inner sanctum of the entire Defias operation. See if you can find anything that might pry it open. I suggest a stealthy method. Okay. We can try that. A stealthy way forwards here. No doubt we're going to blow it up with the bomb. <laughs> it's, it is hot in here. It's very hot in here. This is like a serious operation. They're not really holding back. That's the thing. They probably, you know... When when you're when you're doing a secret mining operation, you know a, a nice level of I'm just gonna roll need for that because I need that. You know, uh, aircon is probably like one of the lower priorities. You know, it's like secret underground base. Do you wanna have like proper ventilation? Eh, you know what? It would be nice, but it's not really available right now. Oh, what's this? We're in blades. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one here. Shadow Guard. <laughs> Gotta find another chest. Cool silver ore. Okay, I'm gonna roll neat on that again. And then greed on this. We're gonna start making some, uh... Oh, <laughs> this is our stealthy entrance here. Defias Cannon. Oh, it was rigged with an explosive trap. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, team, we're going straight into a fight here. So much for our stealthy entrance. They were prepared. They were very prepared. Not prepared enough though. Damn, they go. Heavy short bow. Pretty cool. Oh, parrots. Hello. This is the Admiral. I can't believe it. They're almost. Oh, yes. They are absolutely almost done. A giant ship. Oh, yeah. And these are doors leading out. I think it's a Stranglethorn Veil. They're almost done rebuilding it. We don't have much time, Valerie. Admiral Ripsnarl, Vanessa's right hand man, is bound to be on board. We'll never get to her if he's still alive to do anything about it. Going to need to scale the unfinished juggernaut, find Ripsnarl, and kill him. So we can get to Vanessa's private quarters on the top deck. Be careful. The Admiral bears the Worgen curse and would take much pleasure in digging his claws into you. Okay. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay, I got, I got blown off the edge there. Looks like a few of us were blown off by the cannons. We're being shelled from all angles. Alkaline. Hey, dude. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we can climb back up here. There we go. All right. Let's keep pushing forwards. Trap for us or a trap for them? Oh, okay. Look at that. Yeah, they're shooting their cannons. We want to avoid... Ooh, these these cannonball patches. That's where they're aiming. Yeah, all right. So let's... Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Uh, okay, I'm okay. Yeah, let's not stand on that. <laughs> they probably can't readjust their cannon aim very well. Someone's actually in the cannon blasting away. It's pretty clever. All right, pirates. Let's climb the ship. Excellent. Whoa! Good work, guys. A black water cutlass. Cool. 
Oh, it's very small. Is that a two-handed sword? No, it's one-handed. I was going to say, it's very small. Very small. Alright, so we could teleport back if we wanted to. Who's down there? Old Beaky. Oh, hello, old Beaky. <laughs> Points. Call. Oh, someone has someone aggroed old Beaky. Poor old Beaky. Can we use a cannon to blast her? <laughs> Let's leave old Beaky live. Old Beaky did nothing wrong, I'm sure. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe old Beaky is the mastermind behind, behind this whole pirate operation. That would be a twist. I'm going in, team. No fear. Looks like we're almost at the top of the ship. Yeah, we are. And there's Rip Snarl himself. All right, guys. Let's take him down. Oh, I wasn't targeting him. That's why I couldn't hit him. Uh, whoops. Fresh meat. The fog is rolling in. Oh, hello. We're being attacked. Oh, here he is. So you can see the bosses, you know this guy, the last boss? He's getting a little bit more complicated. A little bit more complicated. He's almost into execute range now. Just when we start tearing him apart. Where is he nearby? Oh, there he is. Okay, execute range. Let's take him down. Down he goes. Admirable and rip snarl. Cool axe. The admirable. Uh, buzzed. A shadowy figure appears. Your exploits have gained quite the following in the. Oh my god, we're being attacked by Captain Cookie! Okay, people have been watching me. Okay. Can we transfer it? Oh my god, okay. New defies Kingpin. Okay, I think we're gonna grab that because I feel like we're killing this boss and that might actually be what this is. <laughs> I don't wanna like fail the quest because we didn't finish it in time. What is this guy even doing? Okay, <laughs> Captain Cookie slain. What in the world? Deadmine's Guild Run though. Well done, guys. Okay, hang on, hang on. So the Defy is Kingpin. Yeah, what well, that this was exactly to kill Captain Cookie. Oh my god. The false Kingpin has fallen. Vanessa Van Cleef is still out there somewhere, planning against us. Thank you that this base, she's largely powerless against the might of the Alliance. Alright. Good job, team. So hang on, what was what was this quest? We didn't actually get a chance to read it properly. So, uh, hello there, Val. We've heard a great deal about you. Listen closely. You're only going to have one solid shot at this. The new device, Kingpin, must be inside the hut, orchestrating this entire operation. And it turns out it was like a little murloc. Oh, man. Why don't you go inside, take her down for the sake of the hundreds of innocent people the organization her father started has killed and terrorized. I'm shocked she'd let you get so close. Yeah, that's why. This is the way the cookie crumbles. You very well may have saved us all and Stormwind with our efforts here today, Valerie. Vanessa may still be out there, but she's insignificant. And the Juggernaut will be placed under a careful watch. Thank you. You're very welcome, Lieutenant Horatio Lane. Horatio Lane, the reference. What's this a reference to? Oh no, Cromleck didn't get the credit for Cookie. Oh, it's a reference to CSI. Alright, cool. I get you. Okay, guys, so I guess we'll like pop out here. We can jump to OG. Oh, Ooh, careful. It's a pretty big fall. Oh, we've actually we've made some friends over here. Oh, these friends did not last very long. But yeah, in the original Dead Mines, um, 
Cookie was like a, a bonus boss. It's really interesting that he's actually been made the, the proper last boss. The proper mastermind here at the very end. All right, yeah, Captain Cookie, Vanessa Van Cleef. She's not actually here yet. I think this we can come back and do this dungeon at like level 85 or something. So maybe she'll be there then. I am not sure. I'm not sure. Well, there you go. That was the Dead Mines. Probably the first major dungeon that most players, most Alliance players, certainly for World of Warcraft, will have done. All right, then. What we'll do now, we're going to make our way across to... Um, Wailing Caverns, which is in the Barrens, which is kind of like the Horde equivalent of the Deadmines. So, alright, let's try and make our way over there. <laughs>